My name is Ava Pardo Keegan, and I'm the peer advisor for computer science engineering. Um, and I'm also a junior in computer science engineering. And today we're lucky to be joined by Nesby. Um, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, so my name is Enoch. Uh, I am a senior studying computer science as well, and I currently serve as the president of Nesby. Awesome. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with like the basics. Um, can you talk a little bit about what NSBE is, what it stands for, um, and then go into the types of majors and people um, and the goal of the organization? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so NSBE is the National Society of Black Engineers, whose main goal is focused on increasing the number of black engineers that we produce out in America as well as around the world. And we hope to um, just essentially kind of guide um, black students into the engineering field and encourage them um, before college, during, and after. Um, our majors are specifically towards engineering, but we also have um, STEM-related majors who wish to get into the engineering field. So whether that be, um, you know, um, engineering lawyers or HR, as well as um, a lot of people who do, um, school, who are in the School of Information as, um, or business would like to do it as well. That's very cool. Perfect. And then can you talk a little bit about what types of events you usually host um, and maybe go into them if you host more social or professional or like a mix of both? Yeah, so for us, we do like a mix of everything. Um, our main events are focused on professional and academic development as well as community outreach towards um, the Ann Arbor and surrounding communities as well as towards high school and elementary schools. And then we also have different social, um, social programs within the university as well. Um, some of the specific events that we have, um, we host um, study jams every Sunday with um, SHIP. We also do um, our general body meetings every other Friday, um, usually it's the same room, 1610 IOE. Um, but besides that, we have just a lot of random events focused on professional development, as well as just like letting students know about different academic programs. Some of our staples that we have coming up uh, we have a backpacking program coming up within about two weeks, and we also have um, just different like panels as well. Perfect. So you mentioned that um, your general body meetings aren't specific days, so they're every other Friday, I think you said. Is there a specific time that they're also hosted on? Yes, so um, every every other Friday will be at 5.30. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, and then to go off that too, what is the time commitment like being a member of NSB? Um, do you have to attend all events that are requirement for members or, um, you know, is it you can just attend as many as you're able to? Yeah, so we have um, kind of two types of members. Mm -hmm. um, well, we like to say like member with the lowercase m and member with the capital M. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of like the members with the lowercase m, you're free to attend any event that you want. All the events are like open and free for you to use. There's no commitment towards it. Um, and then we have members of the capital M, which for those who are interested in going to some of our national regional conferences, mm -hmm. we have like a requirement of attending, I believe like five um, general body meetings as well as uh, three or four other non-general body meetings each semester. Um, and how has it been for you, um, I guess, managing classes? You know, you mentioned you're a CSC student um, as well. Um, how has it been kind of being a leadership position or when you were a member, how was that for you? I think in the beginning, it was very difficult navigating it. But once I was able to like kind of sit, sit down and organize myself, it wasn't as bad. Mm -hmm. um, SB is kind of like one of those fun commitments that you want to dedicate your time to a lot. Um, but I think learning how to like organize myself was a big thing that I accomplished um, during my time as president. So um, towards Nesby, I've spent about like 10 hours a week mm -hmm. um, towards just like delegating tasks and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest goes towards, you know, my academics and other um, job related things. Yep. Okay. Um, and then you mentioned before that you guys have a national and regional conference or conferences, what are those, I guess for those who, people who haven't heard of those, like what are those and how are those like? Yeah, so the National Regional Conferences are like really fun events that mm -hmm. help you basically gain skills professionally and also network with just different people. Um, our fall regional conference is in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, so we have that conference within like the region four. Mm -hmm. So we're in our region four, so that's um, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin, the surrounding areas. 
And with that, we basically just kind of get together and network with one another, also have different types of events. We have career fairs, um, workshops, um, mm -hmm. social and professional workshops. And then we also get to um, do a little bit of community bonding within our org at Michigan. And then for the national conference, um, it's kind of a similar, but like on a broader scale with um, pretty much everyone in the area and then certain regions in Africa. Um, so we basically get together, network, kind of meet new people, um, connect with professionals, um, connect with professionals in order who are in the same career fields as you. And then, yeah. That sounds like great opportunities. Um, our members, sponsored for these or like how do members how can members like attend these uh conferences um yeah so um as i stated earlier mm -hmm. members who attend a certain amount of gbms mm -hmm. uh general body meetings as well as some of the other events outside of the general body meetings are able to attend mm -hmm. um depending on the year it may be sponsored it may not mm -hmm. we do sponsor a majority of the costs we try to get it as low as possible mm -hmm. but most of the times um, there is a little bit of cost associated with attending the program. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, national and regional conferences sound like great opportunities for professional and social. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then going off of that too, what type of professional opportunities do members gain from NSB? I mean, here at U of M, um, I, like what kind of companies come and talk? You had mentioned that before. Um, yeah, so we have a lot. Um, all our GBMs, are, we invite companies to come talk to us. So. Um, some of our partners include um, Meta, as mm -hmm. well as Bloomberg, um, Procter & Gamble, mm -hmm. and a lot more companies that I can't think of off the top of my head. But um, these companies are there to kind of get to know students. Um, and a lot of times from our general body meetings and other events that we host it, a lot of students get help with their resumes, help with learning how to interview, especially for computer science. We do a lot of technical um, interview workshops. And um, a lot of our members get jobs through some of the events that we go to, like the national regional conferences, as well as our general body meetings. Awesome. Um, and then with that, too, what type of leadership opportunities are there? Is there specific um, leadership programs or I guess, like, do you have director positions or things like that um, that members can join? Yeah, so we have a couple of different um, leadership opportunities. Specifically for freshmen, we have our junior executive board, which is just freshmen who are in charge of networking to other freshmen who may be interested in finding that community of Black engineers but may not know about NSB. Um, we also have what we call appointed positions, which are just um, chairs that focus on academic excellence, professional development, um, NSB Junior, which is our high school and um, sixth through eighth grade um, demographic. And then we have community service as well. And then we have our elected board positions, which are um, just basically in charge of getting together and planning. So the typical secretary, treasurer, as well as president, vice president. And then we also have a programming chair and a finance chair as well. Perfect. Okay. okay, so a lot of great leadership opportunities as well. Um, and then for students who want to join, um, is there a specific way that they need to join like through an application or um, I guess what's the process for joining? Um, yeah, so we have a very lax process of joining. Um, basically just attend a meeting if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also reach out and follow at NSBUM um, on Instagram or Twitter. We have, like, once you attend a meeting, we'll most likely reach out to you. We try to talk to as many new members as possible. Um, but, yeah, once you go to our Instagram, we have a link tree where you can get added to the group me as well as find information on any events that are coming up. Okay, perfect. Um, and then you mentioned um, some events that you had coming up, but is there any this week that you want to highlight um, maybe that you have coming up um, that members or people could go to? Um, yes. Sorry about that. This week we have a professional development week um, starting today. We're doing a partnership with LSAMP as well as um, SHIP and MSTEM, where we're just basically going to have a mentor a panel talking about mentorship. Um, tomorrow we're doing a technical interview workshop at Bloomberg. And then I believe Thursday, we're, we're having another professional event that you can find on our Instagram as well. So yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, and then to my last question is just, um, can you talk a little bit about maybe your favorite thing or your favorite memory um, from Nesby? Um, yeah, so I remember my very first um, kind of 
we get Michigan. Um, yes, we hosted a barbecue, and I think that was like one of the first times I got to like see a lot of black people gather together and have like a lot of fun. It was a very good experience for me, especially because I was very new to Michigan and didn't know a lot of people coming in because I was one of the only ones from my high school who came to Michigan. So it was just nice to like kind of feel that sense of community from the very beginning, and that's kind of what made me get into Nesby. I love that. That's a great story. Um... It sounds like there's a lot of great opportunities in Nesby. I know that there's great social, professional outreach um, and technical opportunities. Um, so that was a great overview. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your time and I hope you have a good rest of your day. All right. Yeah. You as well. Thank you. Bye. bye.